I'm Tracy Rifkin, RKC, author of The Swing, and I am going to give you some ideas, one particular idea, of how it might be easy for you to learn the one-hand swing if you're finding it a little bit um, more challenging than you thought it would be, okay? The two-hand swing is a, is a symmetrical movement because you've got both hands on the bell, you're swinging in the middle of your body, and I love the two-hand swing. If I didn't have to do anything else but the two-hand swing, I probably would. Um, but, you know, every once in a while we like to uh, mix it up and, and, and have some variety in our workouts. And there are a lot of benefits to swinging a bell with one hand. It really helps to strengthen up all those muscles that help stabilize our core, you know, our body, and it requires a little bit more uh, strength with that stability and coordination. So there's lots of good things about the one hand swing. I don't want to make it sound like you don't want to do them because um, we want to do everything that we can uh, to get, you know, fit and strong and lean and, and muscular as fast as possible. So let's use everything that we know. Okay, so. Uh, some of you might have experienced that going from a two-hand swing to a one-hand swing, all of a sudden, everything you thought you knew about the swing just kind of goes to heck, you know? Um, and it's like, wow, how come that doesn't feel as solid as my two-hand swing? Well, the reason for that, of course, is that it is an asymmetrical movement. Now, the easiest way to teach a one-hand swing is to tell somebody, hey, just put one hand on the bell and do it. The same motion that you've done with two hands makes a lot of sense, right? So I'm going to demonstrate that so a lot of people learn exactly this way. They start with the bell out in front of them, same as with a two hand swing, only we're going to use one hand instead of two. One hand goes on the bell, right? We're still going to reach back and up. We're going to stand up and squeeze our glutes, lift up on our kneecaps, exhale sharply, contracting our abdominal muscles. The only difference is we have one hand on the bell. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to do five one-handed swings. Start with one hand. Here we go. I'm going to bend my knees, set the bell down gently in front of me. Looks easy, right? And it is, but for some of you, it may be helpful to start with two hands and then go into a one hand swing by simply releasing your other hand. So how do you do that? So you want to make sure and release one of your hands as the bell is coming up to the top position, okay? Um, some of the verbal cues that I might use in class would be drop at the top, drop one hand at the top of the movement, okay? You never want to release one of your hands as the bell is coming down. So you want to practice anticipating that release on the way up, drop at the top, okay? So we're going to start with two hands on our bell. It's going to be nice and solid. And on the fifth rep, we're simply going to drop at the top, release one of our hands, and continue on as if nothing else has changed. And in fact, nothing else has changed. The movement is the same. The only thing is it, we only have one hand on the bell. Okay, ready? I'm going to drop at the top on the fifth rep, and I'm going to swing five more swings with one hand, replacing that second hand on my last rep. You ready? I am. Here we go. All right, we're going to start with two. We're really good at two-hand swings, so this is not a problem. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Get ready to drop at the top. One hand, two, three, four, two hands now on my bell, and I put it down. So that is a really, well, it's a fun little combination of swings in itself. So you don't have to be learning the one-hand swing necessarily to do some, some sets of 10 reps that way, starting with two and going one. Now I'm going to do it on the other side, okay? So I'm going to start with two hands. I'm going to drop at the top. I'm going to end with two hands. Ready? I am. Here we go. Five swings. One, two, three, four. Drop at the top. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Two hands on my bell, and there it goes down. So there you go. 
you know, even if you don't have to um, practice the one hand swing, it's all about practice, right? You, uh, like I said, it's one of my favorite combinations to go from two hands to one hand, back to two hands, maybe go to the other side. But practice those. I think you're going to feel a lot more comfortable with that one hand swing if you start with two first. <laughs>